In Bahrain, activists say security forces have arrested at least 13 pro-democracy leaders in a series of pre-dawn raids throughout the country. The Bahrain Youth Society for Human Rights said security forces stormed homes in 16 different villages early this morning. The crackdown on dissent in the Persian Gulf Island state has continued for more than a year. And just last week, the Obama administration said it will resume a controversial deal to sell arms to the government. Bahrain, which is home to a key U.S. Navy fleet in the region, also brought charges today against a prominent critic of the regime, Nabil Rajab. Rajab was arrested earlier this month upon his return from Lebanon and is accused of inciting rallies and protests with his online activities. For more, we're joined by Mohammed al Maskati, president of the Bahrain Youth Society for Human Rights. His organization has been monitoring the raids. He joins us by mobile phone from Manama. Welcome to FSRN. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your uh, covering on um, Bahrain situation. You report that these raids took place between 2 and 5 a.m. early this morning. How are families describing what happened? Actually, uh, from uh, 2 uh, to 5 early morning today, we get surprised that uh, the security forces uh, uh, ride uh, more than uh, 15 uh, villages in Bahrain. They also trying to uh, arrest all the uh, protesters who are uh, leading the, the protests in, inside these villages. Uh, according to our information, at least uh, 14 uh, protesters get arrested uh, and the rest who are wanted, uh, they are not uh, present at that time in, in their uh, houses. And these people, had they been involved in some of these pro-democracy protests, is that why uh, you think they were targeted? Uh, yeah, most of them, they are leading the officers, but it's not only uh, participants, but they also, uh, they are leading of this uh, protest, and they are the main uh, uh, organizer of the peaceful protest in the villages. These raids that you're describing, how unusual are they? What are the methods that the security forces of the government is using um, against protesters now? Uh, mostly now, uh, the security forces using the bear shot, or what we call it, the gunshot. Uh, we have a lot of uh, injuries uh, of using uh, uh, that uh, bear shot, uh, and uh, actually, this injured they cannot go to hospital because of uh, fear to arrest. So we have problem now with uh, a lot of injuries, uh, a, a lack of uh, medical care. Other human rights activists still remain detained, uh, including Nabil Rajab, who was uh, detained and he faced a a court today. Uh, He still remains in detention. He's been a guest on our program in the past. Do you know what his status is? Actually, uh, Nabil Rajab, he was present uh, today uh, before the court. Uh, it's clear that the authority want to target uh, the human rights defenders, especially because uh, they they are uh, working hard to expose human rights violations happening in Bahrain. And Nabil Rajab, uh, Zainab al Khawaja, and Abdul Hadi al Khawaja is is well known human rights defender in Bahrain. And the authority know that they they are working hard to expose human rights violations and trying to uh, uh, stop uh, 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 violation uh, by the authorities. The U.S. announced last Friday that it would resume selling arms to the government in Bahrain, a $53 million deal that was previously blocked after the U.S. came under pressure. What are you calling for from the U.S. and from the international community? Uh, actually, this is a very negative message uh, to the pro-democracy uh, protester in Bahrain. That's clear that USA is not caring about, uh, not caring for the uh, human rights and democracy in Bahrain. Uh, we call the international community and we call the U.S. administration to support the human rights uh, uh, defender and hum- uh, pro-democracy protester, and also to support their principles. Uh, in Bahrain because uh, as we see only a statement and we don't see action from international community of what happened uh, in Bahrain. 
And the 14 people that were taken in these raids early this morning, do you know where they are? Do you know what their status is, if they're still in detention? And nothing, no, no information. They don't give any information. Uh, and uh, their house is uh, broken uh, uh, heavily by the security forces. So as of now, their families don't know where they are? No, they don't know any information about their situation. Mohammed al Maskati is president of the Bahrain Youth Society for Human Rights. He joined us from Manama in Bahrain. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.